morning. So, day 3 here in Baguio. So, habang tulog pa sila, um, ako yung naka-assign to cook for their breakfast. And so, we're gonna cook fried galunggong and chop suey there. So, let's check. Sana magustuhan nila yung lulutuin natin for today. Hello, guys. Ito tapos ko lang mag-hiba ng mga ingredients natin. So, ngayon, start na natin ito yun yung ating special chop suey. Yahoo! So, pinapainig ko lang yung kawali natin. Ngayon natin yung ating mantika. Ayan, medyo tulog na siya. So, sure, hindi ito sa bayo. So, medyo tulog na tulog yung mga mantika. Hindi nga gising na siya. Ay! Let's put the garlic and I'll be up. A few moments later. Alright, so we just arrived here at Igorot Stone Kingdom. So let's check ko ano ba yung may kita natin. Asalob. Okay, so this is my outfit for today. Shalokita. Wow! So let's see what is inside. Let's go. This is the parking and outside view of this place. The Stone Kingdom is located at 362 Long Long Road, Pinsau proper, Baguio City. It is just a stone's throw away from another famous tourist spot in Baguio City, the Tambawan Village. This is the registration area. Entrance fee is 100 pesos. Baguio Igorot Stone Kingdom entrance fee, adults, 100 pesos, senior citizens or young adults, 80 pesos. The park is open daily from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. even on Sundays. Let's go. The Igorot Stone Kingdom is open for walk-in so no booking is needed.
Baguio City Igorot Stone Kingdom is the newest tourist attraction in the city of Pines. Once you enter, you will be seeing a gallery of paintings that you can buy as a souvenir and decoration. You better ask for a discount if you will be buying lots of them. You will also be seeing a deep washing well right after the painting gallery. Igorot Stone Kingdom is tacks away from the central business district is a man-made park made out of stones. in which was based on the fantasy kingdom and the rich cultural heritage of Igorot and the different provinces here in the Cordilleras. From the main road of Long Long, you wouldn't expect there is a stone castle just a few walks away. At the center of this park, we're able to watch a talented musician playing his musical instruments and that completed the relaxing vibe. Mr. Pio Velasco, the owner of the park, built the Stone Kingdom as a tribute to his mother, Rita Rosin, Pial Velasco's loving memory, who he described as a strong Igorota woman who taught them patience and strength. Let's go at the top of this stone kingdom. This new tourist destination tells about the growth folklore and showcases the locals' rap playing skills. Currently completing the final touches on the part on the mountainside.
the top of mountain, you will find structures made out of stone that depict different symbols known to Igorot history and culture. The owner P of Velasco said, the whole concept is an Igorot child's fantasy of castles. His childhood in Mountain Province, the stories about the first Igorot people, man's belief that there is a caring God and culture of family brought out by Igorot's skillful hands of stone clay. The park covering a 6,000 square meter area, featuring the Igorot ingenuity. In creating stone walls similar to the rice terraces in Batad, Banal. They did the traditional rip wrap that did not use salmon in sight. But for purposes of reinforcement, had to top it with cement. That is according to the owner, Mr. Velasco. We're already done here at the Igorot Stone Kingdom. Right now, let's see. Kung saan tayo pupunta. Uh, just a feedback. Ito sa Igorot Stone Kingdom. Ginagawa pa lang siya, kaya hindi pa ganun kaganda. Pero so far, maganda naman. Ano pa, pero mas okay kapag natapos na nila yung project. I'm excited din sa magiging color nung parang castle nila there so see you later Thank you.